Hi, I'm Jason Williams, and I was recently at an unusual gas station outside the port of Long Beach, California. I say unusual because unlike the gas stations right down the road, it doesn't pump oil or fossil fuels. It costs next to nothing to fill up your tank. And 18-wheeler semi-trucks from the port now stop here every day to fill up and go, all without a single carbon emission. This is completely clean, zero emission fuel. Funny enough, on the road out here, you'll see more Priuses and Teslas than in any other city in America. But this has nothing to do with it either. In fact, here at this unknown site, salt-of-the-earth truck drivers are making the carbon-free energy revolution possible. You see, this gas station is at the epicenter of a $2.5 trillion revolution in energy, one that involves a weird form of fuel known as blue gas. And the thing is, it doesn't involve lithium or batteries or rare earths. It doesn't involve solar, wind, water, biofuels, or any other form of renewable energy you've heard of. And of course, it doesn't involve oil, coal, or any other fossil fuel. Best of all, it's 100% emissions-free. It takes seconds to fill up, and it's 300% more powerful than oil. In fact, in just one minute, you can pump your tank full and drive for weeks without refilling, even if you're driving a massive semi-truck. In fact, in the time it's taken you to watch this far, I could have completely filled my tank up with blue gas. If I were charging a Tesla, I'd be here for a few more hours, maybe all day. But this took just a few minutes, and then I was ready to hit the road. This is just one reason why it's promising to make Tesla obsolete, why this is the dark horse in the clean energy race, and why investors who act quickly stand to make more gains than buying Tesla pre-IPO, even more than if they'd sold Tesla at its peak. Think about that. When Tesla IPO'd in 2010, it traded at just $1 per share. If you bought in then and sold at the peak, you'd now be sitting on gains of 25,640% in 11 years' time. On the other hand, my research shows that one tiny tech stock at the epicenter of the blue gas revolution is set to trade higher than Tesla, delivering earth-shattering gains of up to 31,762%. Not 10 years down the road, or even five years. A massive catalyst coming in the next few months that I'll reveal today is ready to launch its share price vertical. So stay tuned. You'll get all the details on what's being called the Tesla killer in the next few moments. Blue gas is quietly emerging as the champion of the electric vehicle revolution. Behind all of the EV hype, it's entered the mainstream fold in recent months, and it's already powering everything taking tons of market share that Tesla and other EV makers will never get back. In warehouses owned by Amazon, Walmart, McDonald's, and BMW, six in 10 forklifts are now powered by blue gas, along with 27 trains in Germany, BMW's new hexacopter, and 100 buses that Japan deployed in Tokyo. They're all powered by blue gas. But the biggest shift is coming to heavy-duty trucks. Over $14 billion worth of semi-trucks have been ordered in the last year alone, including by the likes of U.S. Express, America's largest shipping company, and Ryder, the largest truck rental company. The ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles, two of the nation's largest shipping points, are now deploying a fleet of blue gas trucks. So is DHL, FedEx, and UPS. The Budweiser company, Anheuser-Busch, is now planning a complete makeover of its truck fleet, it wants to be completely emission-free in the next few years, and it's using blue gas to make that transition possible. That's why the beer giant bought 800 tractor trailers fueled by blue gas. That's almost the entire company's shipping fleet. And get this, just to round it out, it purchased a mere 40 trucks from Tesla. In other words, Budweiser made a deal for blue gas trucks 20 times bigger than the one with Tesla. This shows one thing. When it comes to heavy-duty trucking power, blue gas beats Tesla hands down. The truck makers know it, Tesla knows it, the world is about to know it. Soon, almost every truck you see on the road hauling brew, moving homes, shipping furniture, they'll all be powered by blue gas. And this is just the beginning. Today, there are only 11,000 vehicles powered by blue gas. We're on the ground floor. But according to the big car giants, there will be over 10 million blue gas vehicles on the road in the next few years. That's a stunning 90,900% sales growth surge. And then, from there, the number grows exponentially. In fact, the car giants project 400 million vehicles powered by blue gas within the next two decades. Just to give you an idea of how transformative this is, 
In 1908, the first Model T cars rolled out of the factories of Detroit. And 20 years later, there were 23 million cars and 3 million trucks sold worldwide. In other words, this historic rollout is set to happen 16 times faster than the original growth of cars. And this is already underway. Just a few years ago, there were virtually no blue gas stations. Today, there are 470 worldwide. But as more gas stations switch from serving oil to blue gas, that number is projected to surge to over 5,000 in a few short years. So right now, we're on the precipice of the biggest energy and auto transformation in the history of the world. This is why some of the world's richest investors are backing up the truck on blue gas and the technology behind it. Amazon mogul Jeff Bezos put down $70 million in a blue gas technology stock. In exchange, he now deploys this technology to power thousands of forklifts in Amazon's massive warehouses. Bill Gates partnered with Mercedes-Benz to power billion-dollar data centers with blue gas. Hyundai is putting down $6.7 billion in the technology behind it. And believe it or not, the world's biggest oil giants see the writing on the wall. They know that the end for fossil fuels is eventually going to come, and they're racing to prepare for it before it inevitably hits. That's why oil giant Saudi Aramco is working with Hyundai to build blue gas stations in the Arabian Peninsula. The first new station just opened right in the heart of the biggest oil producing region in the country. Big oil giant Shell and Total joined a mega consortium investing $10 billion in the blue gas revolution. They're opening new gas stations that will replace oil with blue gas, just like this one here. That's right, this is coming to a gas station in your neighborhood. A gas station that no longer pumps fossil fuels. And the reasons why are clear. Unlike batteries, the engine technology behind blue gas is safe and non-explosive, takes under five minutes to refill, lasts days or even weeks, and is incredibly lightweight. In the race for clean trucks, trains, and buses, blue gas is second to none. It does what no battery possibly can. It powers heavy-duty autos with pure, clean energy, all without compromising power, speed, or range. This is the missing half of the trillion dollar electric vehicle revolution, the half that Tesla won't get. Right now, car giants like Toyota, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, General Motors, Hyundai, Audi, and Honda are in a race to dominate the market for zero emission trucks. And they're using this fuel to make it happen. As you'd imagine, Elon Musk is outraged. In fact, he's tweeted multiple times dismissing blue gas. But the writing is on the wall. In fact, the shift to blue gas just went into full acceleration mode. All thanks to a high-ranking official in China's energy department, some call China's Elon Musk. Since this man spearheaded the historic rollout of clean energy in China, he's become known as the godfather of electric vehicles. But there have been some bumps in the road. The Chinese have spent billions on lithium battery-powered buses, but the results were disappointing. The buses take forever to power, and the charge hardly lasts. They can't go up hills with giant batteries weighing them down. When it comes to zero emission trucks, buses, and vans, lithium batteries just won't cut it. That's why China's Elon Musk made a stunning announcement. In short, he called for a complete shift in China to blue gas. And when this guy speaks, the Chinese government acts. After all, he was responsible for the country's electric car revolution to begin with. The Chinese are committing a stunning $66 billion to back blue gas. In fact, the world's largest blue gas station is now open in Shanghai. This marks a historic turning point, one that's going to make blue gas the powerhouse of the multi-trillion dollar electric car revolution. Even utilities are getting on board. Duke Energy, America's largest electricity provider, just made a $250 million deal on blue gas power. It now can power businesses in four states without fossil fuels. Cummins, the largest diesel engine maker, just made a $290 million buyout on a blue gas company, one that builds blue gas power plants worldwide. There's only one reason why it would make this move, because it's a real threat to the internal combustion engine. Today, you'll see full details on the technology that's not just making the blue gas revolution possible, it's poised to make fossil fuels obsolete, send lithium batteries to the dustbins of history, and dominate the electric car revolution. You'll see how it's not only creating a world of clean, endless energy, it's set to create a $2.5 trillion market, 30 million new middle-class jobs, and a whole new wave of millionaires. 
In a moment, you'll see why the blue gas revolution is taking off now and full details on the wealth at stake. You'll see that blue gas stocks already started to take off in 2020 and the major catalyst that's going to put blue gas at the forefront of the electric car revolution. You'll see that blue gas stocks already started to take off in 2020 and the major catalyst that's going to put blue gas at the forefront of the electric car revolution. You'll get details on the tiny tech stock that first began this revolution 40 years ago, how it made mass adoption of this technology possible, and why its shares could soon be trading higher than Tesla. In fact, and you can quote me on this, this is more lucrative than buying Tesla pre-IPO. Imagine if you had a chance to turn back time and get in on Tesla before it went public. Imagine if you could book millionaire minting gains no matter how little you invested. That's the opportunity we're seeing today, only potentially bigger with the tiny tech stock pioneering the blue gas revolution. But before I go any further, allow me to introduce myself in full and how I find the trillion dollar megatrends and the future blue chips long before anyone else. Again, my name is Jason Williams. I'm the managing editor here at Wealth Daily, where I run four research services, the Wealth Advisory, Alpha Profit Machine, Main Street Ventures, and Future Giants. If my name sounds familiar, it's because this isn't the first megatrend I've spotted and helped investors take advantage of. I was on the ground floor of the billion dollar pot revolution back when nobody paid attention. I saw the wave of legalization about to unfold. I said it had the same wealth potential as alcohol stocks that generated tenfold gains after prohibition. I saw marijuana's potential to replace dangerous opioids and become a leading form of medication. One that could make big pharma obsolete. And most importantly, my team and I identified and recommended top marijuana plays on the very ground floor. All of this long before marijuana mania set in and pot stocks surged for overnight 10x, 100x, and even 1000x gains. The best of these was Innovative Industrial Properties a little-known real estate company at the time that's now become something of a household name in the marijuana space. Some may even call it the pot blue chip. My readers got in back then around $17 a share. At its peak, the stock traded at a high near $300. Readers who acted on my recommendation had the chance to book life-changing 1,390% gains, the kind of gains even my former coworkers on Wall Street were jealous of. And that wasn't the only time I helped people get in early on what turned out to be a mega trend. A few years after I let readers in on the potential of the nascent pot industry, I noticed the growth in cloud spending. Now back then, the cloud was still something mainly discussed in high-tech circles by geeky computer programmers. But I could tell that it was the future of how data would be handled. And I knew that meant there were going to be explosive profits coming for the companies helping it grow. One of those companies was a real estate firm called Coresight. It didn't own any data or sell any computers, but what it did do was build and maintain the data centers that would provide the foundation for the cloud. My investors got a chance to invest in the early days of Coresight and cloud growth. And they got to watch as shares ran up the charts from the $33 they paid at the time of my recommendation to the $170 paid by American Tower when it bought Coresight lock, stock, and barrel just a few years later. That's a 415% gain from my initial recommendation and life-changing money for my investors. And again, that wasn't the last time I keyed in on a megatrend and helped my investors take advantage of it for massive profits. Just a few years ago, I noticed that more and more companies were outsourcing their communications to contractors. What I was seeing was the start of the software as a service, or SaaS market. Nobody really knew how big that market would get, but I could see that it was going to be another mega trend that would go through hyper growth like cannabis and the cloud did. So I recommended my readers buy shares of a little technology company called Twilio. At the time, nobody outside a few very techie circles had even heard of the company. But within a few months, the stock jumped from around $30 to $60. Then it kept climbing to $100 a few months later and $150 a few months after that. It finally topped out at over $440. That's a 1,367% gain. All these gains are very recent. Most happened within the last couple of years or so. And it's all because I identified the mega trends of marijuana legalization, cloud computing, and software as a service well ahead of the crowd. I put my boots on the ground, went directly to the sites of the top companies, and interviewed the movers and shakers of those burgeoning industries. And most importantly, I got my readers in early. Some of them have been able to retire rich, walking away with six or seven figures in their pockets. For example, 
One reader, Bill J., wrote to me and told me about the gains he's made so far this year. Through your stock recommendations, I have amassed a $35,000 windfall this year. Here's what reader Jeff F. was willing to say on record. You are kicking ass this week, and when you kick ass, I make it rain up in here. Just wanted to let you know, since December when I signed up as a Lifetime member, I've made $78,000. Here's what Pat T. said. Please don't ever stop writing the Wealth Advisory. I would be up shit creek without a paddle. Thank you. Now get this. I firmly believe that in the next 6 to 12 months, blue gas technology will mint more millionaires than marijuana, cloud computing, and SAAS combined. This is more lucrative than any stock I've recommended, even more than investments in Bitcoin and biotech. That's because it's moving to the epicenter of the trillion dollar electric vehicle revolution, a historic trillion dollar energy shift that's already transforming the way that millions power their cars. And if there's one thing we can say for sure about the history of energy, it's this. Those who buy in while it's early, on the ground floor, become richer than they can possibly imagine. No matter how much you invest, you don't need a lot of money to make it happen. The only thing you need is this. Vision. That's how you'll see through the shiny hype of Tesla. Recognize the new dark horse energy technologies, plus the innovative companies behind them and make historic gains from the little-known technologies that are transforming the global energy mix. I'm talking about riding a stunning 90,900% sales surge that's now underway all the way to the top. In just a moment, I'll share with you the details on the tiny stock at the epicenter of this revolution. As I mentioned, it's the pioneer of this blue gas revolution that's now changing everything. But before I do, you're probably wondering, what is blue gas exactly, and why is this happening right now? Let me explain. It has to do with the biggest yet least known engine breakthrough in history that many are saying is on the cusp of making the internal combustion engine obsolete. 150 years ago, the internal combustion engine changed everything. Before then, there wasn't much use for oil beyond lighting and heat. Several decades later, it made the auto revolution possible, leading to Henry Ford's Model T and the rise of oil as the dominant form of energy. The middle class and the high tide of American prosperity was birthed in Detroit's auto factories, and every single $50 invested in Ford turned into a million dollar windfall. All early investors became known as Detroit millionaires, no matter how much they invested. But there was another part of the story. Few know that this other kind of non-oil engine was actually invented 50 years earlier. There were once plans to make it the center of all transportation. And if it wasn't for the discovery of oil and the internal combustion engine, it likely would now be in every car, truck, and plane. That's what could have been. But we don't have to wonder what if. Because that is exactly what's about to happen. You see, due to new technological innovations, it's now re-entering the fold. Now we're about to see the return of the American dream. Recently, GM and Honda invested $85 million in a new car factory in Michigan. It's going to create hundreds, perhaps thousands of middle-class jobs, all employed for good wages, pensions, and fully covered health insurance. But unlike the factories that GM opened 100 years ago in this same area, this plant isn't producing vehicles that run on oil or fossil fuels, nor battery-powered electric vehicles like Tesla. They run on blue gas technology instead. And this is just a sign of things to come. After all, it's poised to create a $2.5 trillion market, 30 million new middle-class jobs, and a whole new wave of millionaires much like the original factories opened by Ford and GM 100 years ago. But the biggest winners won't be the big car giants, or even the producers of blue gas. It'll be the ground floor technology companies that are putting blue gas at the center of the energy mix. They're innovating the engine of the future that's rendering batteries and Tesla obsolete. I'm talking about fuel cells. If you know fuel cells, you know these are engines that harness hydrogen, the world's most abundant element, what I've been calling blue gas. Hydrogen is literally everywhere, all around us, and can be produced in tons of different ways. When it binds with oxygen, hydrogen generates a chemical reaction. And much like batteries, fuel cells convert the power generated from the chemical reaction into usable electricity. But unlike batteries, which degrade with each charging cycle, these never lose their ability to charge. They don't need to recharge either. As long as there's hydrogen in the tank, your car recharges as you drive. And as I mentioned, it takes just five minutes to refill your tank, all for cheaper than gas. Fuel cells aren't just more efficient than the internal combustion engine. They're much cleaner. 
In fact, besides electricity, the only other byproduct is water, and it's clean enough to drink. It's simple how it works. One, hydrogen is stored in the cells as compressed gas. Two, there are two parts of the fuel cell, the cathode and the anode. Three, as the hydrogen enters the anode side, it's stripped of its electrons, which generate an electrical current. Four, the hydrogen then passes to the cathode side, where it binds with both oxygen and the electrons. Five, the hydrogen and oxygen are released from the tailpipe as water vapor. The resulting electricity powers the motor. As I mentioned, fuel cell technology isn't new. It's older than the internal combustion engine. In the 1960s, fuel cells powered the Apollo and Gemini space capsules. They not only fueled the flights to the moon, they also provided the crew's drinking water. Around the same time, they began seeing use in submarines belonging to the US and German navies. Since fuel cells are so quiet and self-sustaining, it not only makes the submarines super stealthy, it also allows them to stay underwater for several weeks at a time without re-emerging. But except for a few niche markets like submarines or spacecraft, fuel cells weren't used much. They simply weren't inexpensive and small enough for everyday cars and trucks. But in 1987, everything changed. One energy legend, now known as the father of fuel cell technology, made a historic discovery that put fuel cells on the inevitable path to energy dominance. Similar to the invention of the internal combustion engine in 1869 that became essential to Ford Motor's historic Model T rollout 40 years later, this energy legend's discovery is now entering the mainstream fold. And get this, he also founded a company that publicly trades and is leading the global charge for hydrogen fuel cells. In a moment, you'll get more details on this man's discovery, why shares of his company are bound to soar higher than Tesla, and why you must get in on the ground floor before fuel cells begin a 90,900% sales surge. That's because fuel cells are, right now, being adopted at a breathtaking rate. For trains, forklifts, and bus fleets, in the race to replace the internal combustion engine, fuel cells are set to leapfrog batteries and render fossil fuels obsolete. Here's why. You see, fuel cells were once simply too expensive for cars and everyday vehicles. But that's all changed. Due to new innovations backed by the Department of Energy, NASA, and the world's largest car companies, the price of fuel cells has dropped by 60% and continues falling every year. In other words, it's entered Moore's Law. What this means is that as new innovations are developed, the price continues falling. The cheaper it gets, the more it reaches the mass public. That's what's underway now and why we're on the cusp of historic bigger than Tesla profits. Fuel cells are quickly taking the energy world by storm. They're taking center stage in the biggest megatrend of our time, the global transition to a clean energy world, the hydrogen world. Wan Gang, China's father of electric vehicles, decided that batteries just won't cut it. After years of failure, he now says it's hydrogen's turn. He just called for China to move to becoming a hydrogen society run on fuel cells. In response, Shanghai just opened the world's largest hydrogen fueling station. China plans to put 1 million fuel cell cars on the road, and it's sparing no expense. In fact, the Chinese government announced that it's cut funding for battery-powered vehicles in half. And now it's using that money to back fuel cell technology instead. In total, $17 billion worth of investment is going to fund fuel cells in China, not Tesla. This is the real deal. This is why Tesla's days are numbered and why its share price has been falling for months, why its batteries will be obsolete, and why fuel cells are racing to the front of the global clean power revolution. In Japan, it's happening even faster. With the country's nuclear plant still closed after Fukushima, the Japanese have been rushing to build a hydrogen society. The numbers tell it all. 800,000 fuel cell cars, 20,000 fuel cell buses, and 900 fueling stations. That's Japan's goal for the next few years. And its plans are now accelerating into overdrive. Japan has debuted 100 buses and 40,000 cars, all fueled by hydrogen. This is a big deal because in the Summer Olympics of 1964, the Japanese showcased another kind of new transportation technology, the bullet train. This was the first of its kind. It was one of the biggest advances in mass transportation ever developed at the time. Since then, 34,000 miles of high-speed railway track have been laid worldwide. Today, Japan has a network of nine high-speed railways carrying 400,000 passengers on an average day. If you've ever traveled around Europe, you already know that the continent-wide bullet train is amazing. And China leads the way with 3 billion passenger trips on bullet trains. 
In fact, more Chinese now travel the country on bullet trains than on airplanes. It all began at the 1964 Olympics in Tokyo. Now history is about to repeat itself, this time with fuel cells. It will accelerate this technology to mass adoption, just like Japan once did for bullet trains. And there's no time to waste. In fact, fuel cell stocks have soared for astounding gains in the past few years. One company, Plug, deployed a record number of fuel cells in the first quarter. Shares surged 187% on the news. Another, Proton Power Systems, is developing heavy-duty fuel cell trucks for Germany, fuel cell buses, and even fuel cell power systems for the grid, ones that could replace utilities. In 2019, shares shot up from $6 to $40 for a 507% gain. One fuel cell company, Hydrogenics, was on a tear from $5 to $11 before being bought out. The buyer? Cummins, the largest diesel engine maker in the world, which put down $290 million. Shares surged to $16 and above in June. That's a 220% gain in a few months. Even more importantly, the buyout signaled one thing. Engine makers let Cummins see the threat of fuel cells and are acting now to get in before it renders them obsolete. The same goes for big oil, auto giants, utilities, they're all getting in on the fuel cell space. A buyout frenzy is underway on small companies that are deploying the technology, and I've identified the next big takeout target. The tiny tech stock I mentioned today, the one founded by the innovator behind the fuel cell revolution, that's poised to launch higher than Tesla. A buyout attempt ignited Tesla's shares. The same thing will happen with this tiny fuel cell stock. And you might recall, Tesla's shares were initially ignited by a buyout attempt from Apple in 2013. Back then, its shares were trading for around $2, then Apple stepped in and offered $16 per share. Elon Musk turned down the offer, of course. Afterward, the stock rocketed past $20. Of course, since this company is even cheaper, and its technology is even more disruptive, and the electric car revolution is now in full swing, we're positioned for even bigger returns, exponentially bigger. Here's why. The fuel cell revolution began with one man. He was a geophysicist for Shell Oil, but in the 1970s, with rising oil prices and fears of peak oil, he dumped fossil fuels and turned to renewable energy instead, exploring ways it could revolutionize the automobile. First, he began with lithium batteries, which are what now power Tesla vehicles. But when he came to the conclusion that they could never power cars like gas or fossil fuels, he left them behind too. With a grant from the Department of Energy, he and his team of 40 scientists began looking into fuel cell technology to make it cheaper, smaller, and able to power the everyday car and truck. In 1987, they did it. They made a breakthrough that all energy scientists wish for, a dramatic four-fold boost in energy density, meaning it has four times the power without increasing cost or size. This was the first innovation that made the mass adoption of the fuel cell possible. All of the technological breakthroughs ever since have worked off their original discovery. In short, they gained a first mover advantage long before most people thought electric cars possible. After, the company invented the first fuel cell bus. It inked contracts with Chrysler and Mercedes. Now, after signing $200 million worth of deals with China's largest engine and auto parts companies, it's the front runner for the world's biggest fuel cell market, where $66 billion is being unleashed to create a hydrogen society. As I mentioned, China is taking charge of the trillion dollar electric car revolution but not with lithium batteries, at least not anymore. It's building the world's largest hydrogen plant. It's building unprecedented fleets of buses, trucks, and cars. In Shandong province alone, it's rolling out 2,000 fuel cell buses, and this company is supplying it all. It's strategically positioned to reap the most profits from China's $66 billion windfall. And that's just the beginning. China is planning to spend a stunning $4 trillion for a clean energy transition. And fuel cells, not lithium batteries, are moving to the top of the mix. This is already planned. It's in the works. Fuel cells are at the beginning of a 90,900% sales surge. And this company, which now trades for several dollars, is already lined up to grab the lion's share of the profits. Of course, it won't trade this low forever. With more multi-million dollar contracts from China and the accelerating frenzy in the fuel cell space, not to mention the Japanese Olympics, which had fuel cells on everybody's lips, this company is bound to pass Tesla's share price, handing early investors gains of up to 31,762%. That's just in the short term. 
This is why I assembled a new dossier on this opportunity, complete with the name, ticker symbol, and full company profile, and the full details on the $2.5 trillion fuel cell revolution. I call it the Tesla killer. Make 31,762% gains on the fuel cell revolution. And with your permission, I'll send it to your inbox, completely free of charge. All I ask in return is that you give my flagship newsletter a risk-free test drive. As I mentioned a little earlier, I'm the managing editor at Wealth Daily, and I publish my findings in a monthly online newsletter called The Wealth Advisory. The goal of this research service is simple. Help ordinary investors make fast, safe profits on the biggest financial trends that you'll never read about through the mainstream press. Over the past few years alone, I've helped my readers make gains in many sectors of the market, including 113% on Twitter, 126% on Peak Resorts, 149% on Qualcomm, 194% on Maxar Technologies, 234% on Teladoc, 285% on Omega Healthcare Investors, 500% on CoreSight. The list goes on. This isn't cherry picking. In our open portfolio of dividend stocks with 25 recommendations, we have a 60% average gain. In my closed portfolio, we've done just as well, locking in gains on the vast majority of my recommendations. I've achieved this with a simple strategy that combines two potent things. One, fast speculative home run plays. And once you've made your quick profits, two, safe income dividend plays in order to generate long-term income and growth for your retirement portfolio. I've found this one-two punch approach is the best way to not only get rich, but stay rich while earning a lifetime income stream that funds your whole retirement. My readers have certainly told me as much. Here's what one new subscriber just wrote to me. Your picks work like McDonald's. Thank you for providing me with a successful business model. Overjoyed to find something which is the real deal. One reader, Linda Kay, wrote to me about my most recent win. I just wanted to tell you, I love you. I have made an absolute killing on this stock with such a small investment. Carl P. has been a loyal reader for several years now. He gave me permission to share the following with you. I'm loving this. Every time I get an alert from you, I say to myself, it's time to make some more money. In addition to your free report, The Tesla Killer, make 31,762% gains on the fuel cell revolution, here's what you'll get with your membership to The Wealth Advisory. 12 issues of The Wealth Advisory. Delivered every month, each research letter I send you will be packed with the best elite investor ideas I uncover. I'll also show you how to boost your income, incredible ways to dramatically cut your cost of living, the safest way to grow your retirement account, and much more. My latest investment research. You'll get complete access to my updates on the markets, breaking news, and world events. Exclusive 24-7 website access. You'll receive a private login to the Wealth Advisory website, putting a wealth of articles, research tables, and videos right at your fingertips. Carefully chosen insider opportunities. I never stop searching for the next opportunity. I've recently made 137%, 329% and 661%. Bonus report number one, pot paydays. How you could bank a huge payday this year from legal cannabis. Cannabis could be legal in all 50 states just a few short months from now, and you have only weeks, if not days, to get in before the crowd. The second cannabis boom is coming, and this time it's not happening in Canada or the Netherlands. It'll happen right here in America. I've found the perfect all-American boom stock and any investors who join me in time could make an absolute fortune. This report contains all the information you'll need to get yourself invested for the next growth phase of this booming industry. Bonus report number two, prime profits, how everyday investors can piggyback on Amazon's record sales. While it's not as sexy as investing in cannabis startups, this real estate has become essential to the business of multi-million dollar companies like Amazon, and it's making savvy investors rich. You see, big companies like Amazon don't want to own real estate and all the headaches that come along with that. So they're willing to pay a premium to landlords who provide the land and buildings they need to keep their companies rolling in profits. And every year, part of those payments go into a special program that paid investors over $3 billion in 2022 alone. I'll give you all the details you need to get your share of the massive payout coming in 2023. So by now, you're probably asking yourself, how much does all this cost? Well, the answer might shock you. I've seen boutique financial research firms charge upwards of $5,000 a year for the same information I include in the Wealth Advisory, but I'm not charging anywhere near that amount. Normally, 
A one-year subscription to the Wealth Advisory costs just $249. For years, that was the least I'd ever consider selling my research for. It's just too valuable to give away for any less. But because of the magnitude of the opportunity I've detailed today, and the urgency presented by the current state of the economy, I'm slashing that price even further. So if you sign up right now, you can take advantage of a once-in-a-lifetime offer. By agreeing to a trial subscription of the Wealth Advisory, you'll save $150 instantly and pay just $99 for an entire year's subscription. That's only a few cents per day for financial research others have paid well over $5,000 for in the past. Even better, by signing up today, you'll receive everything I've mentioned 100% risk-free. Test drive the Wealth Advisory with zero risk for a full six months. I believe you should thoroughly vet anyone you take financial advice from, and I'm no different. That's why I wanna give you the opportunity to review everything I publish for the next six months without making any financial commitment whatsoever. I'm so confident that your trial subscription to the Wealth Advisory will be worth every penny of that $99, I wanna offer you the strongest money back guarantee possible. If you aren't completely satisfied with my research, I'll send you a full 100% refund of your subscription cost, no strings attached. Just call our friendly member services department during normal business hours and they'll gladly refund your money. This makes today's offer a no-brainer. It's 100% risk-free. But there's no time to waste. This fuel cell opportunity is red hot. It's happening now. Fuel cell stocks are surging for gains of 500%, 187%, and 250%, all in just the last few months. The giants of industry, oil, utilities, automobiles, engines, they're circling the tiny companies that are behind this pioneering technology. And big buyouts are already happening. But it'll get even better. The $2.5 trillion electric car revolution is quickly accelerating. And as companies and countries begin a complete shift to clean energy, they'll all be dumping lithium-ion batteries for fuel cells, sparking a 90,900% sales surge. The beginning of Tesla's demise has just started. The final death blow will come in the next few months. Japan already showcased its developments in fuel cell technology. And just like the 1964 Olympics in Tokyo, which put the bullet train on the fast track to becoming a mainstay in global transportation, the shift to fuel cells is reaching a fever pitch. The biggest winner will be the tiny tech stock I mentioned today. The company founded by the father of the fuel cell revolution and that's now positioned at the center of China's historic shift to a hydrogen society. Lock it in now at a few dollars per share, not $300 or $3,000 when it'll be too late. So you've seen the charts, the proof, the wealth at stake. The choice is up to you. Just click on the Get Started button below to get started. You can also order over the phone. Simply call our friendly customer service support staff toll free at 1-855-877-8623, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. You have nothing to lose and a massive retirement windfall to gain.